Here is your host, flight instructor and aviation safety specialist, T.C. Freeman. Hi, T.C. Freeman here with wingsofun.com. Received an interesting question this week from one of our subscribers asking about becoming a ground instructor and what that entails and would it be beneficial. Uh, this subscriber is a private pilot, very experienced, and really has a passion for aviation. I have to say my perspective on this has changed over the years. Uh, I had a, a friend of mine, in fact the editor of our blog, Mark Grady, who has really excelled at becoming a ground instructor. He really has not had an interest in the flying aspect of flight training and has really capitalized on ground or lecture type uh, aviation training. So you know there's a lot of these flight instructors I guess they get the reputation of what well, all they want to do is fly and it's not just the young flight instructor wanting to get to the next level. There's a lot of instructors in that same boat that just want to really excel in the flying portion of flight training and sometimes through their flight schools they're required to do the ground training part and they really aren't, aren't excited about doing that portion of the training but are obligated to do so. Uh, so the question is why not bring somebody in that just really has a passion for teaching those ground courses. Uh, the amazing thing is is you really don't have to be a flight instructor to do so. You can actually earn a ground instructor certificate from the FAA by just taking a written test. Now there's different levels of it. Everybody has to take what they call fundamentals of instruction. The FOI as people call it, fundamentals of instruction is a kind of the baseline for every everyone that they have to take this knowledge test. So it's a computerized test just like you would find with private pilot. Uh, now there's different types of ground instructor certificates that you can receive or take those knowledge tests for and that's the basic ground instructor and then there's an advanced ground instructor. Uh, the recommendation I have heard is to go ahead and do the FOI of course and do the advanced ground instructor. The advanced ground instructor allows you to teach throughout a broad spectrum of the various certificates. Now what you can do is if you really have a passion for ground training is to do that advanced ground instructor. And there's just a few more areas that you're quizzed on and have questions from, but you can take that and really start teaching ground schools at that point. If you stick in with it long enough and you elect to do so, pick up the instrument ground instructor uh, and that way you can start working with instrument students and further continue that. Uh, I think this is really a neat way to increase your experience in the teaching realms uh, be way before you get a flight instructor license. So I was thinking about this when I was uh, watching a gentleman who has a YouTube channel and he breaks down all his flight lessons. So he has all his flight lessons recorded and he'll go back and narrate, hey, this is what was happening. We were at this non-towered airport and it was really busy and uh, this is what we should have done and this is what this person should have done. And they give the disclaimer that they are not a flight instructor. And I thought, wow, what a missing opportunity. This person obviously has a talent and passion for teaching. So why not pick up that advanced ground instructor or AGI and just start doing that type of training, which would be, be an awesome way. And I think if more people did that, once you get to the flight instructor, you'll really be prepared, I think, better than most folks. It's kind of like having an internship of sorts to help sort of flesh out those what works and what doesn't work and makes you a better instructor overall. This is a great thing to consider for folks that have a passion for training.